Hi, so in this video we are going to talk about um, Google Maps and how you can add a Google Map into your Android app. And uh, if you're using Android Studio, then uh, this process is pretty easy. Uh, you need to create a uh, Google Maps project on developer.google.com and use an API key from that. All of those steps are automatically done if you are setting up this project from Android Studio. So we'll start off with creating a new Android Studio project. Okay, and uh, just select a folder where we're going to put this. I just say the name of our app is Google Maps uh, Basics and we go next and we will select the Google Maps uh, activity from the wizard there right and let's give this activity some name maps activity and uh, layout activity maps and uh, we click on finish and let's uh, let Android Studio uh, build this project for you Once that's built, you will uh, notice that uh, in this app, uh, you get uh, an extra file that is created, uh, unlike uh, other projects, uh, that's called Google Maps uh, API.xml. And in this uh, file, you will find an URL here. Uh, so if you paste this URL into your browser, you would be able to create your Google Maps API key. And the API key that you get when you paste this into your browser is supposed to be pasted here okay um, the maps activity that has been created you would find that it uh, extends uh, from uh, app combat activity uh, but it also implements a interface called on map ready callback and uh, inside on create you would see that uh, a function called map fragment dot get map async is called and when this function is called the process of downloading the map gets uh, started and it happens asynchronously so other things in your activity can continue to work and uh, finally there is a callback function called on map ready and inside this uh, function you can be sure that uh, the map is available and you can uh, manipulate uh, the map you can uh, add any markers into the map or you can uh, uh, change the place that the map is uh, currently focused on you can change the camera of the map and all of that so uh, to start working with that what we will need to do is uh, we will take uh, this URL and we will open uh, our browser and we will paste this URL when we do that it opens up uh, the Google Developer Console and uh, in that uh, you have the option of either uh, using an existing project if you have already made uh, Google Developer apps or then you would find a list of your projects listed up here or uh, the other option is you can uh, create a new project okay so let's say I go with uh, an existing project so I click on that and uh, you need to select uh, the mark terms and conditions in the country of residence and you click on agree uh, once you do that uh, it is going to generate an api key for you uh, and the maps sdk for android would be enabled for you uh, all of that information is already present in the url the url tells the google developer console to enable the maps uh, sdk and generate an api key for you click on generate api key uh, clicking on that uh, a new api key would be created and a dialog box would come up on the website uh, containing your api key we need to uh, copy that api key from here and then we need to go and paste that api key here make sure that when you paste that api key uh, there are no spaces or new lines that are attached so ah, there we go and there you go so make sure that there are no uh, spaces that get uh, injected here or here uh, the API key should be only this string okay um, once that's uh, done uh, what uh, we'll do is just uh, start our emulator and 
we are going to try to run this app and see what happens so there we go we run our app on on our pixel emulator now uh, when you create an emulator you have an option to create an emulator with uh, the google uh, play services uh, you need to make sure that if you are uh, trying out google maps you need to have an emulator that uh, has got the play services so if your emulator uh, has a google uh, play store and it has got uh, the maps app in only that case is it uh, possible uh, for the google maps uh, sdk to work on this emulator okay so there we go uh, let's let the project build and let's see what uh, comes up uh, when this uh, app runs in my emulator okay Okay, there we go. So when it runs on the emulator, you would see that there is a marker on uh, Sydney and the focus of the map is near Australia and you can zoom into that app if you want to and you can, uh, you know, navigate around this map. Okay, if all has worked well. So that's how you set up a map. Now in the next few videos, we'll see what other things we can do with the map, how we can put markers, uh, lines, uh, polygons and how we can uh, change the camera of the map okay